With three decades of experience of printing and embroidery, Acorn Printing have a client base including many household names and have even supplied t-shirts for the President of the United States. As the official team wear supply for Bosra, you can order from our current range at tshirtuk.com. Good morning, welcome to Bosra Race Roundup. The 2016 Bosra MSA Skip Barber Championship Round 5 comes from Okiyama International Circuit. This takes us a quarter of the way into the event. This week it was Antonidis who took pole. It was his first of the event, quite surprisingly, considering how well they've been going. Piercy and Sobrand have taken the others so far. Sobrand sits behind Antonidis with Tony Bird in third, the only three drivers going round here in under a minute. Ben Hackerson's in fourth, ahead of the first of the Seagate and OG team, Matt Talaya. He's followed by his teammate Neil Bamba. Van Del in 7th for Bowden Solutions, he would love to get a win here, he's followed by Underhill and Ricky Green. 10th is Phil Gregory, followed by Martin Gwenneke and Simon Jackson, McCain's in 13th and it's Russell Barnes, Jan Melisevet and Chris Butchall for your top 16. In 17th it's David Waldock and then Ian Thorne and Ian Robson, Motorsport Auctions and Bentley Boys Racing. The final Bentley Boys Racing care is Darren Ford in 20th, followed by Jonathan Barrisford in 21st. Jonathan not setting time this week, so only 21 cars joining us for this race. Hopefully we'll see more next week at Shower Oval. For now though, we're going to go to the qualifying lap from Antonides. We're going on board with him for a trip around Okiyama Shore. If you're looking to upgrade your racing experience, then head over to Bowden Solutions. They offer the first and only bolt-on load cell brake mod for Thrustmaster pedals, and the TXG27 adapter allows you to use your Logitech pedals with a Thrustmaster wheel. See the link below for more information. Antonidis now powering down the main straight, about to start his fastest lap of the qualifying session. This was on lap number 13, his qualifying lap. So away we go then, across the start finish line, and now we make our way down towards the first corner. See the Joel real time in there, showing his previous lap had put him into first place. Slight glitch in the replay file once again, so it won't record the lap time uh, correctly. Into the next corner, this is Piper, it's the short version of the course that we're using this week. The long right-hander followed by the sweeping left and onto the back straight. Now coming up to Redmond and Hobbs, this is the left-hand corner. This tightens up quite well, so early on the brakes here. Keep it nice and tight all the way around, follow the corner as you go. Then try and stay out wide if you can, into the next corner, this is going into Hobbs. This takes us up towards Mike Knight corner and the pit entrance. Now power down once again, coming into the final couple of turns. You can cut the corner there quite considerably, but be careful you don't go into the pit lane, you will pick up a penalty. Into the final corner, carrying as much speed as you can through there, running wide and using the rumble strip the best you can. Now back onto the main straight, power down, and we go across the line once again. So this week it was Antonini setting the fastest lap of the race, a 59.808. So that's it, let's head to the race. The Synology DS216 Play is a two-bay NAS featuring 4K video transcoding and powerful processing capabilities. Complement yours with Seagate NAS hard drives for the perfect high-capacity storage solution. See the video description for more details. Here we are then, all the cars are lined up on the grid now. There is one driver starting from the pits, that is Matt Talea this week. In power is Antonides from Sobran from Tony Dirt. So now everyone waiting for the lights to go green and we will get underway with the race. It's a great start from Sobrand, he has the inside line coming into this turn number one here at Okiyama. He's in the blue team plot work care. So Antonade is going to be forced to go around the outside of him here. Tony Bird maintains his third position from Ben Hackerson, but again Ben has the inside line coming up into turn number two. Antonides does indeed drop into second place, but won't give up without a fight. He is going all the way around the outside. Coming into the next corner, it's a left-hand turn, so Antonides back up into the lead. Ben Hackerson has also managed to get past Tony Bird into third. This is the view on board with Neil Bamber. He was chasing Tony Bird and Ben Hackerson just ahead. Sat in fifth place on lap number two. Neil's had a really good start to this championship. He's currently sat in third place overall. And we show Brandon and Antonides ahead of him. Neil is also the leading partner team driver, so it's great stuff for Seagate and Synology. Keep an eye on Ben Hackerson though, he had an off track there. Tony Bird was sent flying off and over the barriers. Neil Bamba also picking up damage and needing a trip to the pits for repairs. You can see the front end of his car totally destroyed. Bamba makes the decision to come straight into the pits on this lap. Ben Hackerson managing to carry on with his race. Lap number four, the battle for 9th, 10th and 11th, McCain, Melisevert and Phil Gregory. Keep an eye on Phil as he just tags the back of Melisevert's car going into turn number one. That result in damage to both cars, Jan pinging off track further ahead and Phil in the gravel trap. 
watching the fight now between Russell Barnes, Alan McCain and Chris Butterall. So it is a motorsport auction sandwich with Bowden Solutions in the middle of that. We're just going to stay and watch this for a little bit because it was a great old battle going on between these three. While we do, let me just remind you of what we've got coming up over the next few weeks. We've got another special event coming up and obviously the next few rounds of the Skip Barber Championship. Also, don't forget if you haven't already to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're getting more and more videos out now each week. We have four following boards from each race. Members of the Buzzer Racing team are also taking part in the Absolute Beginners League Formula Eagle. That is in the Skip Barbers as well. We're putting up the coverage from each and every race of that championship. You can find that on our YouTube channel. McCain now makes his move at the start of lap number 7. So Russell Barnes is dropped down into 10th with Al McCain up into 9th. Ricky Green had had a post out to the championship, albeit not through his own fault. He then fell victim to Martin Gwenicki, another move being made on the main straight and into turn number one. Ricky down into sixth place. For teams that have been plagued by poor results, it was the Motorsport Auctions team and had a fantastic start to the event. This was Chris Buttrell chasing his teammate Russell Barnes all over the back of him and Chris running wide, being followed by David Waldock. Coming up now into Redmond, Chris trying the move up the inside of Russell but drifts out slightly catches Russell's care, pushing Russell off track and spinning him, Chris managing to carry on though, Chris across the grass and rejoin him further down, yet more bad news for the team and this time it's self-inflicted. This is on board with Matt Talia, he was in 13th place, he had started the race from the pits, coming up on the 109 car Darren Ford for the Bentley Boys Racing, the Seagate's an OG driver moving up into 12th position as we come towards turn number 1. It's great determination from Matt, Seagate's an OG trail XL designs in the team standings by only 25 points, they'll be hoping to close the gap after this race. From one on board to another, this is on board with Sobrand. He currently sits second in the race with Antonides just in front of him. You see Antonides pulls off into the pits. Now these two are joint top in the driver's standings with 91 points each, but keep an eye on Sobrand's speed. Trying to catch Antonides on the way in, crosses the line into the pit lane and picks up a stop-go penalty. So we switch now to the end of their pit stop as it was Sobrand who came out ahead. And we just though, so Sobrand takes the lead of the race from Antonides, but he will need to come back in for that stop and go penalty. With Antonides out front and Sobran coming in for a stop and go over that left, Neil Bamba and Simon Underhill scrapping it out for second and third. Simon closing in on the back of Bamba's care. Bamba coming in for a scheduled pit stop on lap number 23. That put Simon up into second. After starting in the pits, Matt Talia continued his fight back up the rankings. This time he was following Ricky Green. Went through on lap number 32. A slight mistake from Ricky allowed him up another place. That had put him into sixth overall, up 11 places. Fantastic determination from Matt. Just to go show you can grind out a result when needed. A great boost for Seagate and Synology and the chase for the top. After a scheduled stop, Neil Bamble was fighting with Van Delden for 9th and 10th. This is a fantastic battle as well, a little bit further down. So Simon had moved up into 2nd place with Ben Hackerson into 3rd. Neil's chance of a podium now off in the distance. While this fight goes on, we're just going to talk a little bit about the Bosra GT3 Championship. It's something that's been debated on the forums. It will be positioned as a flagship event from 2017, and we're hoping to run a pilot series in the second half of this year. If you are interested in that and have not joined us yet, then head on over to the forums. There's plenty of discussions going on about it there, and the regulations we're going to be using iRacing have recently announced that there are two new GT3 cars coming, the Audi R8 and the Mercedes GT3. They'll join the existing lineup of the RUF, the McLaren, the BMW and the Ford. So we are looking to drop one of those cars. We will be putting a poll up on the forum and it will be a permanent decision. Once that decision has been made, we will be releasing more details, so keep checking back on the forums for the latest info on that. Van Elden is still very much on the back of Neil Bamba's car and he is close enough now to get a drag down the main straight. Another move to be made into turn number one. Closing in now even further, waiting for the time to pull out. First coming to the outside of the track. Neil then slides going into turn one. The pressure must be getting to him. Van Delden up into ninth. Moving on to the final lap of the race. This is on board with Ben Hackerson. Tech Speed Racing, a lapsed car just in front. And Simon on the hill in front of him. You see Simon slowing down. Well, that was due to a fuel miscalculation. Simon just running out of fuel before the final two corners. That would allow Ben up into second place to steal the points from Simon. Antonides, way off in the distance, has already crossed the line. Here is the race winner then, Antonides, we've just skipped back to watch him cross the line. What different story it could have been though, had Sobran not picked up that stop and go penalty. So Antonides will take the lead in the championship after they've both been sat on 91 points. There will be another spanner in the works as well next week as we take our first trip to an oval circuit. So let's check on the results.
Motorsport auctions are the global marketplace to buy and sell used race and rally cars, parts, transporters and associated equipment. With competitive pricing on all types of membership, list your items now at motorsportauctions.com. On to the race results for round 5, well it was XL Designs who dominated again, a bit fortunate though with the weird Simon Underhill running out of fuel towards the end of the race. Sobrand's in 4th ahead of Simon Jackson and Matt Toya, Ricky Green for Bodin Solutions, the first of their cars across the line ahead of Van Delden. Waldox in ninth, ahead of Neil Bamba and Ian Robson, Martin Glenicky in 12th. McCain finished 13th ahead of Darren Ford and Tony Bird with Phil Gregory in 16th for Seagate and Synology. Bad week for motorsport auctions, Chris Potter and Russell Barnes having that coming together in the race as we saw. Jan Moisevet in 19th head of Jonathan Beresford for Seagate and Synology, four laps down. In Thorn, he came in last but he did pick up three points, a zero incident race for him. In the overall driver standings, it is Antonides who leapfrogs Soberans. That drive through penalty costing him dearly this week, so 10 points separating them two. Neil Bamber's in third with Simon Underhill moving up four places into fourth despite running out of fuel towards the end of the race. Van Delden stays in fifth ahead of Phil Gregory, but Ben Hackerson moves up six places. David Waldock's in eighth, followed by Talea and Tony Bird. In eleventh, it's Simon Jackson, he's up five. Barry Bird's down five. Darren Ford's down one place, Martin Gwenicke's up one. Alan Piercy drops five, we haven't seen him for a while. And Chris Buttrell's in sixteenth, down a place. McCain stays in 17th with Ricky Green moving up to 18th, he's up 6 places, Molesver and Thorne stay where they are. Russell Barnes is up 1 place, Scott Markham drops 2, Ian Robson moves up 3 places, Andrew Whitehead's down 3 places, he's left the championship. New driver Brian Larson, well he didn't feature this week, we're hoping to see him next week at the Oval. David Rowan drops 2 into 26th with Martin Brandon staying where he is in 27th. A mover is Jonathan Beresford, he's up 1 ahead of Francis Leno, Sean Birdside and Ryan Walker dropping a place each with Gary Bradshaw finishing out the field in 32nd. Second. Moving to the teams, XL Design still hold on to the lead, 39 points ahead of Seagate and Synology. Team Clockworker in third, Bowden Solutions move up two places into fourth ahead of Motorsport Auctions and Tech Speed Racing. Bentley Boys Racing are in seventh with Acorn Printing in the rear. They are well behind on 76 points. It's a big week for Bosworth next week, we're off to Charlotte, but not for the usual road course. We're going to try overall racing for the first time ever in one of our championships. So stay tuned, look forward to that next week and catch up with us on YouTube. As always, don't forget to subscribe and like our Facebook page. Thank you ever so much for watching, we'll see you again soon. Bye bye.